What's going on, YouTube, and all my Fitho Cryptocurrency holders over there? Before we go any further, if this is your first time tuning in, please come follow me on Twitter so you can have a chance to win some free commemorative collectors, Deutsche coin, silver, and copper. It's real face value stuff. Um, I need 5,000 people before I give away the first coin. I'll give away another coin for the X5,000 and continue doing that for the foreseeable future. Now, let's jump into all the great news we got going on over here for uh, Deutschcoin. And guess what? It's not Elon Musk tweeting about it. Thank God. That's what we needed. I don't want the guy tweeting about it right now. He's got too many other problems. But we have um, the Ethereum co-founder. The founder of Ethereum is talking about it, and he is talking very good about it. He says that he likes it, and he is very, very open to considering them adopting uh, Deutsche coin that's beautiful like once we get that then it opens us up to so like it gives us our credibility basically and I mean like everybody needs to realize we're in a turning point in the whole world with everybody's understanding investments and everybody's like there's money everywhere and it do not sleep right now do not sit there and be bullshitting on these moments these moments are what you need to come in these are the moments that come in every hundred years every you know every few you know generations and this is what's going to change the rest of your family's outlook not only yours i mean this is bigger than just yourself this is bigger than just myself i ain't gonna be around much longer you ain't gonna be much you're around longer it's about your kids it's about your legacy you leave behind and the only way to leave that legacy behind is you gotta have a foundation for them to build on so let's jump on in here and see what this guy's talking about it says i definitely don't think ethereum is opposed to dogecoin i kind of want the fans to feel like ethereum is at least a little bit in spirit itself a dog a dog coin on whatever he fears dogecoin if doge wants to somehow bridge to ethereum and then people can trade doge thousands of times a second inside a loop ring then that would be amazing. On the potential for calibrations between Dogecoin and Ethereum, there's a lot more wrong with the world than just money, okay? People who think that if you get rid of uh, fiat currency and you replace it with cryptocurrency, then suddenly wars are going to go away. No, it's actually going to make things worse. That's why I've been saying we need to fix the free market and we need to fix the cryptocurrencies out there that are that are in place right now we just can't abandon them that's going to cause mass hysteria and it's just gonna it's not gonna be good so you reduce the government's revenue by 10 percent if the government is that evil which portion of its expenses is going to take that 10 percent from is it going to stop uh, booming people and uh, bombing people in Afghanistan Afghanistan or is it going to cut welfare if you think it's the first you have a very optimistic view of the government on effects of cutting into government revenues as a consequence of replacing fiat currency with cryptocurrency it'll just become and be incorporated in the same way as happened with the internet on the ideal outcome of the acceptance of blockchain by society and governments I don't think governments have the ability to ban crypto to the extent of just completely preventing blockchains from existing, but they definitely have the ability to really marginalize it. On the worst case scenario for government regulations, you would make a mistake if you were to uh, scramble too much skepticism or any deep intentionally to the whole process. He's just a human being and he likes dogs. Just like I like dogs. On Elon Musk's crypto strategy and support for the Dogecoin. This is what he had to say. I'm sure that if they stay in the cryptocurrency system at all, they have they have to at some point. I'm sure that if they stay in the cryptocurrency system at all, they have to at some point. Or whether Tesla or SpaceX will consider Ethereum in the future. Obviously, there's parallel universes in which... I do better but at the same time there's also a lot of parallel universes where because I hesitated more and tried to spend more time thinking I missed the opportunity on whether he handled uh, dominating Shiba Inu tokens the right way for every pop poster it did did he pull the rug on us his wallet was supposed to be a burn address there was 10 people that was like oh I thought I was just in it just because it's a fun pyramid gambling thing <laughs> <laughs> but instead, I ended up being part of the greatest public uh, good thing for humanity. And that's even more amazing. That's pretty good right there. But 
And then we have Jack Dorsey talking about that, you know. We have, not only do we have him talking about it, the founder of Ethereum, but we also have Jack Dorsey says Square is considering and making, Square considers making hardware wallets for Bitcoin. That is good. That's going to be great right there. Because, I mean, uh, eventually it'll trickle down in, in, into um, Deutschcoin. Like, everybody needs to understand Bitcoin's like, like, people are out there saying Bitcoin's going to blow up and it's like, like, it's going to go to zero. That's wild. You guys can't say that. Like, look, I don't really like Bitcoin that much, but Bitcoin is just like gold. I don't really like gold either. I love silver. So, I mean, more of Ethereum, more of a Deutschcoin. That's where I lean towards. Everybody has their own preferences. So, I mean, it's just like, as I was saying, we're in a time where. Any asset you grab is gonna is gonna go to the damn moon. I mean, I hate to say I hate to say it because it sounds so cliche, but you know, what I mean, basically any asset you grab is gonna go to the moon. If you look back when the pandemic happened, any damn asset you grab after we came down hard, we're still up. I mean, if you look at it year over year over year, we are still significantly up. I mean, all you need to do is make the right decisions, small trades. And don't get stuck all in the Deutsch, all right? I mean, I love this coin, but believe me, I do not have all my assets stuck in this one coin. Hell, now, I don't care if you got 100 bucks, man. You know what you could do with $100? You can do a lot, okay? Don't go all in on one. You know what's that one saying? You don't go a full retard. It's the same thing when going all in on a damn asset. But, I mean, I don't want to talk down to anybody, and, but everybody needs to understand, like, there's some crazy dollar prices coming out for Deutschland. Like, I was saying a dollar twenty-five, dollar fifty by, you know, July. You know, that's still where I'm at. I mean, I've heard some people say three bucks, four bucks. You know what? We're not even there yet. Okay, let's get to 75 cents, and then we can worry about getting to a dollar. And then we can worry about getting to a dollar twenty-five. I don't want to hear no one saying we're going to five dollars immediately. I mean, you know, it happens, but, you know. We don't want it to happen because the faster we run up, the harder we come down, the more it flushes out new investors. And, you know, unfortunately, a lot of new investors, they don't understand what's going on, especially with cryptocurrency. They're like, what do you mean I lost half my money in just a couple of moments? That's just wild. So, like, I, you know, and then that brings me to my second point. You should never invest more than you're willing to lose. And, and you know, don't forget, I'm not a professional. This should be considered entertainment use only. This should be considered entertainment use. Before you buy or sell any asset, you should consult with one or hell. Don't be lazy. Look at stars. Read some articles. Listen to man, guy, or chick on YouTube. And, you know, I mean, just you just control your budget and you do your own mitigation. You do your own research and, and you ask yourself why you're going to buy an asset. You got to have a game plan whenever you, you don't just buy it and be like, well, I'm going to hold it till it gets to the moon. What kind of game plan is that? That makes no damn sense at all. I mean, what's your exit strategy? what just i mean oh my god it's down 60 percent. i better sell that's not an exit strategy because then once it's, you sell it it's going to go right back up and then you're going to be one of those people that's going to be chasing it and that's when we get fomo and then that's when we get the run-up and i'm just sitting here like what are you people what are you guys doing why are you guys running relax bro relax you don't need to play the game today you can come back tomorrow you, i mean come back next week okay better luck i'm out of here